Ryan Rosenblatt for SB Nation Soccer, and this week we have one class go down, but one more remaining is Barcelona and Real Madrid square off this Saturday at the Santiago Bernabeu and a La Liga match. On Tuesday, the two teams played at the Camp Nou in the Copa del Rey semi-final second leg. They drew in the first leg 1-1 in Madrid, so as they went into the second leg, it was winner take all. Loser was done. Winner was going on to the final, and that team is Real Madrid. They absolutely thumped Barcelona with a tremendous performance. Jose Mourinho's tactical plan was brilliant, and the team executed it flawlessly. Cristiano Ronaldo in particular had a great match, and they absolutely laid waste to Barcelona. And that leaves Barcelona in quite a predicament now, because this isn't just a one-off for them. What was once considered the best team in the world has now been struggling for several weeks. They're down 2-0 after one leg in their Champions League round of 16 tie with AC Milan, and now they've lost to Real Madrid, a team that has struggled all year and is their heated rival. So what did Barcelona do now? What are the problems for Barcelona right now? Now, it could be that they don't have Tito Villanova. Their manager is in New York undergoing cancer treatment. That could be the issue. Could be an issue of losing Pep Guardiola. Maybe Villanova wouldn't have helped things. Maybe it was losing their manager from last season who took this year off. Or could it be an issue with the players? Carlos Puyol is always battling injury, it seems now. David Villa hasn't been informed for two years. Pedro and Alexis Sanchez have been nearly useless this season. So what does that leave Barcelona with? It's a very flawed team. Even if they were winning earlier in the season, and even if they are still a very, very good team, which they are, there are clear problems there that maybe were there a few months ago, but we just didn't notice. We sure noticed them now. Meanwhile, Real Madrid has to be feeling good about themselves. What was once a lost season now has some purpose. They got back at their rivals in the Copa del Rey, and they could take home a trophy there if they can win the final. Meanwhile, they have a little bit of momentum going to next week's Champions League tie against Manchester United. They drew 1-1 at home. They have the second leg coming up in at Old Trafford. That's going to be a tough match for them, but they've proven that they can get a result against a very good team away in a second leg. They may be able to get it done there. Odds are that's going to be their only focus. They may not play any of their starters this week against Barcelona. Now that seems crazy that a Real Madrid team won't take a Clasico that seriously, but it's tough to imagine that they will. They just don't have enough reason to care about a league match when they're out of the league race and they have a big Champions League match coming up. Cristiano Ronaldo, Masoud Ouzel, Sami Khedira, Pepe, Rafael Varane, they may all see the bench this weekend just to rest them up for next week's Champions League clash. So with that said, it's not just that interesting of a Clasico. It's not going to be a classic, classic match between Barcelona and Real Madrid, but something crazy could happen. There seems to be something crazy happen anytime these two teams meet. So make sure you tune in and head over to SB Nation Soccer for all of your coverage of the match.